We've got notes from the Tony Khan AEW media call ahead of full gear. Jonah is offered a WWE contract. Chelsea Green is expected to return to WWE. AEW has offered AR Fox a contract. Vince McMahon's Vice documentary is set to air on December 13th. We are just a couple of days away from full gear. Hey everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest and let's kick things off today with notes from Tony Khan's media call. Take a look. Tony Khan was asked about CM Punk's status and whether he knew what Punk was going to say during his all out press conference. He couldn't comment on either, but said he appreciated Punk's contributions. Khan said he didn't know what CM Punk was going to say at the media scrum and that he couldn't comment beyond that. Additionally, he couldn't comment on the investigation or the backstage aspect of anything regarding the elite. When asked about FTR not being on Saturday's event, as of now, Khan said he has a lot of talented wrestlers under contract and thinks there is more opportunity for more AEW and ROH content to help showcase them and others. He said a decision will be made about Ring of Honor's direction and TV future after next month's final battle. He confirmed the Owen Hart Foundation tournament will return in 2023. The finals of the World Title Eliminator Tournament were moved to this Wednesday in Chicago due to Ricky Stark's legitimate and undisclosed injury changing things. Ricky Starks versus Lance Archer has been postponed until AEW Rampage on November 18th. Brian Cage will then go on to face either Starks or Archer at the AEW Zero Hour on November 19th. And then the finals will take place on AEW Dynamite on November 23rd. Lastly, Tony Khan also mentioned that they are nearing the $1 million gate for Saturday's show. Two former WWE wrestlers could be returning to the company. Our own Dave Meltzer revealed on Wrestling Observer Radio that Chelsea Green is expected to be back with the company and Jonah has been offered a contract to return as well. Both wrestlers were released from WWE in 2021. In regards to Chelsea Green, Dave Meltzer said, quote, I don't know if she's put pen to paper, but she did just finish up with Impact, so it makes sense. Presumably, she's in, but like I said, I can't confirm the contract signing, but I can confirm that they are talking about it as if it's a done deal within the company. Meltzer also confirmed that WWE has offered Jonah a contract to return, saying, quote, Jonah certainly has an offer from WWE. He's got to make a decision. He'll either be with New Japan or WWE. He got a great push in New Japan, and it's going to be his call. Jonah wrestled as Bronson Reed in WWE from 2019 until his release in August 2021. Following his departure, he performs with Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling. AEW has also offered AR Fox a contract. The news was revealed in a backstage segment posted to social media following Dynamite. Fox was speaking with Lexi Nair about wrestling close to his hometown when he was informed of the offer. Fox teamed up with Top Flight in a losing effort to the AEW Trios Champions Death Triangle on last night's show. It was Fox's seventh match with the promotion. The 35-year-old is a veteran of promotions such as Evolve, CZW, and Lucha Underground. As noted before, a documentary focusing on Vince McMahon will air on Vice next month. Brian Alvarez reported yesterday that the two-hour documentary titled The Nine Lives of Vince McMahon will air on December 13th at 9 p.m. Eastern. It was originally scheduled for a premiere on October 18th. However, it was moved due to both WWE's NXT and AEW Dynamite going head-to-head -head on that day. Both Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer have been interviewed for the documentary. Well, there you go. That was your quick news roundup for today. As always, do not forget to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Click that like button and make sure you're subscribed to F4W Online. See you on the next vid. And I invite you all to check out my AEW Dynamite post show from last night. You can go ahead and click on the video on the screen.